The Odic Twig Pro are wireless earbuds with a unique design, quality materials used, and premium sound. They are stem style that emulate the AirPods Pro with an IPX4 water resistance rating, Bluetooth 5.2 with a max range outdoors of 132 feet, but it would appear the total battery life on these earbuds is really meager. Now I'm gonna talk about the extra features. These do come with a companion app, and as you can see here, the app is straight cheeks. I was filming before, had to stop and start all over again, and this, because the app this logged me out. Now, when you first download the app, it wants you to connect. Now, the earbuds are already connected to my V60, so it wants me to connect. It wants me to connect a second time. Why you have to go through this extra step, why you have to sign in to use the app anyway, now it says connected to the device. Now, once it says that, you just click on the picture and boom. This is the inside of the app. Now, <clears throat> the ANC on here, you can control it. You have a slider right here where you can make it strong or I don't like that because it's too processed. And then you can, hold up. Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah, also, I forgot to mention this. Proximity sensors on here. As you can see here, there you go. Proximity sensors. They auto automatically pause the music when you take them out of your ears, automatically resume. They're not as good as one more smart pause playback. They're not that great. I think after a few seconds, you have to press play in order to get the music to go again. But anyway, you also have off and ambient mode. Now on their website, they said that you have three tier A and C, but with the buds, you only have A and C on and ambient mode on. The only way to go into normal mode or turn these off is to go inside the app. That's gonna, I'm gonna take a mark off of that, that's trash. Another thing that you have is presets. So you have your presets. I got warm, warmer. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you uh hold on. Where is the EQ? Okay, here it is. This is what the EQ looks like. This looks like some like chart that you see in like elementary school for like you know the distance between the moon and the sun and all the other plant the planets in the solar system. Why they went with this, I have no idea. But this is weird. Uh, I have no idea what hard sounds like. Pause. Cold. I would. Uh, I would. I would assume that's what analytical. Maybe soft. I don't know what that is. Pause. Is this? Yeah. This app needs some milk. So it's the the earbuds are up to date. The app is up to date. It's on 4.0.0. It needs 7.0.0. Because yeah, this app is really not good. But a useful thing that it has is. A find me feature and I'm not gonna open that because I'll be doxing myself and it also it has a ring feature so if you lose the earbuds or if you want those people that are a klutz you're constantly losing your earbuds this is how you can find them so it says press and confirm will generate a high pitch sound which can cause hearing damage do not use while the earbuds are in your ears there you go it'll play a tone but I don't even know if you could hear that unless you're like in dead silence so yeah back to the ANC it's pretty strong you can uh, you can tune it to block out certain sounds the ambient mode on the other hand is trash voices sound filtered it's metallic sounding it has that AM radio static noise surrounding the the ambient mode I do not like that they also support G wireless charging got my charging pad right here now this is the aluminum it's like a little slab a tiny little sheet of like aluminum on here that's the front the back is made out of plastic the sides are made out of plastic it's a, a cylinder uh, shape you just throw them on the charging pad like that and then boom G wireless charging you're gonna have to keep topping these up because the battery life like I said is horrible now you can get eq you could got the ring mode you got your find the earbuds mode but yeah the controls on these and i'm going to talk about that next is you can't really customize them through the app so i'm going to give the app a two out of five now i mentioned the controls so let's go over them the twig pro have button controls as you can see here these are buttons i actually like buttons 
Buttons are good. The reason being is, let's say you're trying to get a good seal on your earbuds and you're putting them in your ears. And let's say all of this right here is a touch sensor. So you're going blip, 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 blip. With this, you got the buttons on the stem, on the bottom. This is better because when you got touch sensors on earbuds, you're constantly jamming them into your ear holes even further. And that causes discomfort. So I like that. Volume is not included, sadly. So a single press on the left and right is pause and play. A double press on the left and right is skip track. A triple press on the left and right is previous track. Now here comes the tricky control. A long press on either the left or the right for one second allows you to switch between A and C in ambient mode. Whereas a long press on the left and right for three seconds activates your voice assist. And you're going to have... I, I, I'm speechless. I, why would they do that? Why? Why? So it's like one, two, three. One press, double press, triple press, long press. And you have to time it. And the problem is there's no like tune that plays. There's no voice prompt that lets you know that you did it right. You have to time yourself. That's dumb as hell. I don't like that. I don't know why. They, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't understand why they did that. So I'm going to have to get the controls. Another two out of five. Cheeks cheeks these earbuds I, I tested them like months ago and i liked them but now after doing a review i don't like them so so moving on to the battery life here's another problem with a and c on according to audit you're getting five hours on a single charge with a and c on and with a single charge with a and c off you're getting six hours in the charging case it doesn't hold a lot of battery according to audit's own website the total battery life is 15 hours all of you math surgeons out there in the comment in the comments or on youtube you do the math i did the math my head hurt battery life two out of five i want to get rid i want to get i want to get this video over with because i want to talk about saving grace of these earbuds to be honest is how well they sound when you EQ these to be warmer, every rap song, it sounds amazing. The bass is so good. It's so good. And these, okay, if you see this sticker on the front of the box, it says Snapdragon Sound. So these are the earbuds. They support uh, Snapdragon Sound. It's a new, like, lossless Kodak made by Qualcomm. Unfortunately, not a lot of phones support that right now. I mean, there's a few. And... More are coming, starting to come out. But as of right now, I don't own a smartphone that supports it, so I'm not able to take advantage of that. I I am able to use CD quality on Cobuz and high res. I think was it 24 kilohertz. So that's pretty good. If they this went with LDAC, which is Sony's Bluetooth codec, and it's widely more supported, that would have been a lot better. But going back to the sound quality the uh, bass has a very good satisfying kick to it without muddying up the mid speaking of the mids taylor swift's i was listening to her album she sounded clear and not hollow i like how female vo vocals are natural sounding i was listening to my homegirl uh yeba she sounded otherworldly and the treble is rolled off but detail isn't rolled off it's not bright or similar because you can eq the sound to your liking so when it comes down to the sound quality and the dynamics it's up to you and it's your decision to make whether or not you want them to sound, have more bass or have more treble or more more air to the more air to the music. Going further on with that, so to wrap up this video, the companion app, it needs some milk. You have the option to turn off A and C in ambient mode, but only through the app. The app makes you create an account before you can access all the functions. The battery on a charging case is extremely mediocre. I did my research. I think you, that gives you like two recharges pressing the button to activate the voice assistant and switch between ambient mode and anc mode that's unforgivable y'all should give us the option to customize that so while the sound quality is good enough you need a smartphone that supports qualcomm snapdragon sound to make the most of these earbuds ldac would have been a better choice should you buy the twig pro maybe but there's no shortage of true wireless earbuds on the market have LDAC support. And plus, there's plenty, you don't even have to upgrade your phone. Most smartphones on the market right now, they support Sony's LDAC Bluetooth Kodak. Like all of my smartphones, even my uh, LG V60, it has LDAC. So if you already have earbuds from companies like Soundcore or Sony, my homies right here, the one more Evos, this stay where you at. Now I'm gonna do a mic test in a quiet and a loud environment. I can put these earbuds back in storage and not thank them for like a month or so. This is a mic test of the Odic 
Twig Buds Pro in acquired environment. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And this is a mic test of the Odic Twig Pro with some ambient background noise playing to simulate you being on a phone call out in the public. As always, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of the microphones. And with that being said, enjoy your life, enjoy your sound. I'll see you in the next video.